Hello and welcome to Devlog 13. As you guys may have noticed at the beginning of this Devlog before the intro, I showed you guys the old Kaioken and then the new Kaioken as well as new Kaioken on top of Super Saiyan. One thing I would like to mention before getting into any detail on these systems and how we're changing the HP drain, key drain, form stacking, all of that, it's important that you guys notice everything you guys see in this video is still subject to change. We want some of your guys' feedback on what we've currently come up with. And uh, we just want to, you know, we're obviously spending a little bit more time to work on it and finalize it. Or else the update would be out, right? So, just so you guys know, all the all the numbers you see on screen, all of that is just for testing. So we have something to work with and scale off of. So, you know, don't mind big numbers, small numbers here, there, XP numbers. Uh, all of that is subject to change. Please keep that in mind. We just wanted to let you guys in on what we've been working on and pretty happy with it. So with that, I want to get right into what we what we wanted to do with this change to Kaioken. We wanted to make Kaioken more of the technique it is seen as in the anime and manga and all that. Um, so in the source material, Kaioken is seen as a burst technique. Um, obviously the anime portrays it, Goku's in it a little bit longer than, you know, it would make sense. But it's the anime. Five minutes, right guys? So... We wanted to make it a burst technique where it lasts a very short amount of time but gives you a huge boost. So with the idea of making Kaioken a burst technique, the HP drain when you first go into Kaioken, when you ascend into Kaioken of course, will now be a burst of health drain for the first roughly 3 seconds. And then after that it will go to normal HP drain, but it will go up the same percentile of HP, I'll show a number on screen for you guys. So it will, uh, it does not compound, it's just adding the same percent each time. So it's not going to double in a couple times. It, you know, it will double after, say, 60 seconds, probably, if that. So Kaioken is practically impossible to hold forever at higher stages. However, you could. To get right into it, there's a new XP system similar to the Mastery system in place. However, this system's a little bit different, uh, a little bit different leveling-wise. Uh, the leveling unlock for Kaioken has been changed, all of this. However, don't fear, your old skill level for Kyle can well convert. As you guys can see on screen, level 10 will result in 534 XP across all stages of Kyle Ken. As you can see in the menu, I'm showing the Kyle Ken unlocks. Once you unlock Kyle Ken at those levels, you will be able to then use Kyle Ken. And you have that XP, and once you use a couple more XP items, you have the full levels that you get that amount of XP. Our new system for techniques like Kaioken is similar to Mastery, however, with techniques in specific Kaioken in this case, you, while using the technique Kaioken again, you will gain EXP after a certain amount of seconds. This, this amount of seconds to get one EXP is changed stage to stage of Kaioken, right? So I, I can't give you guys values, just know obviously, you know, times 20 will be significantly harder to level and maintain so you know it, it's a compounding effect there uh as well cow fragments are still present they currently give in development 10 exp just like a z soul for, to whatever stage you like to give it to so as for the unlocking of techniques just like forms you unlock technique uh you know cow can stage one to five the first five stages of cow can of course all via questing uh, we're still working out where they're going to be unlocked. None of them will be in Super. The, your half cow can times 10 before Super. Times 20? No, it's not unlocked in Super. It's unlocked after you get the others to their max technique level of 4. So once you get stage 1 to 5, at level 4, you get times 20. And you get to level up times 20. Times 20 will, be, will evidently be the strongest of the bunch. The leveling for this technique system will not affect the multiplier of cow can. Uh, it will affect the key drain, health drain, uh, cooldown, and other similar values. It will not make Kaioken stronger, however, it will make Kaioken easier to maintain. Which is ironic, because this system is not called Mastery, and Mastery makes more sense for that, right? Ha. Huh. Um, but yeah, we, we wanted uh, this technique system to focus less on making the technique stronger, and more on making the technique more easy to maintain or mastered again funny so with that there's a couple more things to talk about 
Kaoken Multiplier, a little bit different than you guys might be used to, right? The Kaoken Multiplier is not times two to all your stats. It's times, say, uh, this is an example number. Again, times two to strength, times 1.8 to dex, times 1.8 to will. Dex and will currently in testing are the same. We just wanted strength to have a little edge. So that will maintain through all the forms. Not the same ratio, of course. Those I just came up with those right now. But yeah, so there will be three separate multipliers in place across these stats. And this will come in play with other, I don't know about forms, but techniques. I'm not too sure about if we're going to ever do this on forms. It's, you know, just something I wanted to do on Kyle Ken right now. Kyle Ken cooldown. So for Kyle Ken cooldown, we wanted to imitate the idea of your body not being able to handle a another burst of energy, you know, being Kyle Ken the technique. So we decided to add a cooldown in, you know, seconds, minutes, whatever. Um, we we want to keep the cooldown on the lower side, you know, because um, we don't want players to just not be able to, like, let's say you're using Kaioken to progress past your highest quest. We don't want you to be locked for, like, 30 minutes or anything insane like that. So we're going to keep it probably even below 10. Don't quote me on that again. This is just a demonstration video to get the idea out there for you guys so you guys know what you can look forward to. Um, but as for that, we want to, we want the cooldown to be a lot on it, on Kyle Ken, because obviously Kyle Ken's going to be a pretty big burst compared to what it was. So we want the cooldown to be in place to hold players back from using this all the time, as well as the other fallbacks of Kyle Ken to make Kyle Ken different than a simple form. As seen in this clip here, you are able to go into Super Saiyan and then stack Kyle Ken on top of that. Per usual, there's... Also, some nice new visuals. Instead of making the entire aura red, it now adds a nice red overlay on top of the aura. It is important to notice, however, Kaoken form stacking per form is no longer unlocked for every stage of Kaoken at once. Being that Kaoken stages are now treated as their individual leveling systems, we felt it was justifiable for us to make it so you would unlock each Kaoken stage at a different level. Well, you know, with exceptions as you guys can see on screen. Kyle Ken times 2 and 3, level 2. Kyle Ken times 4 and 5, level 3. Kyle Ken times 10, level 4. Kyle Ken times 20 is level 5 of the form. This makes it so from a very low level of the form, you're able to stack that form with Kyle Ken. Along with XP gain while using Kyle Ken and the ability to still use Kyle fragments and pieces, you're also now able to go to a King Kai training, you know, how can training just take wish training however this one's cool down it's not one hour it's gonna be 15 or 20 minutes that's what we're thinking right now uh we'll, we'll be deciding soon which one so uh keep that in mind it'll be it'll be a lot more forgiving than wish training you know it'll be easier it'll just be additional xp at that point and obviously it'll be unlocked way earlier than something like wish training you are also now able to select your Kyle Ken stage. While having Kyle Ken selected in the menu, you're able to press your ascension key, which is by default G, plus num number key 1 through 6. Just select the different stages, 1 correlating to times 2, 6 correlating to times 20, and so on. There's also been some nice quality of life changes, ranging from the Kyle Ken ascension message in the top left. That has always been there, however. Now you will see how long you've been in Kaioken, as well as how long your kaioken has been on cooldown, as well as a couple other useful um, tips here. There's, there's some other stuff added to this system, but this is Kaioken related. Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to the end of the devlog. Thank you all for making it this far. I got a little bit of info for you guys if you made it this far, a little easter egg. Uh, U6 is currently slated for a July release, that being early July. Um, that's down from the delay. Uh, out of June into July just because we wanted to give ourselves a little bit more time to flesh some systems out hope you guys understand uh press conference coming up soon talking to you guys live Q&A you know you know what the press conferences are so you guys are on